The process of establishing and verifying an electrically safe work condition. Hopefully all of you are familiar with this process. It's a whole checklist. And one of the final steps in this checklist is to verify absence of voltage, typically using a portable test instrument. And so there was a bit of a clarification with this one. So what happened, the clarification, is you use an adequately rated portable test instrument to test each phase conductor or circuit part to test for absence of voltage. That's what's already there. There is additional language that states at each point of work, at each point of work. The intent of this was to make sure that if you're going to be conducting work on, let's say, this particular panel right here, then you don't test what's upstream to test for absence of voltage. You test locally. So it just simply means, okay, you're going to be working here. This is going to be electrically safe. Test at the point of work to make sure that it's electrically safe. It's very simple. But it was a clarification that was helpful, that was needed. And so looking at it in a little more detail, what we have is if you were going to be conducting work at panel PP1 and this was to be electrically safe, then you test at panel PP1, not upstream. I mean, you could test upstream if you want, but that's not going to be used to verify absence of voltage at PP1.